Now you said on election day it's over, but it well might not be, right? I think the dynamic that you're talking about is really important, which is that we may not know the final result on election night. One of the things that I think we and, and um, other media need to start doing is preparing um, the American people that um, there's nothing illegitimate about this election taking additional days or even weeks um, to make sure that all the votes are counted. In fact, that might be important to make sure that this is a legitimate um, and fair election. So we're going to do a, a, a bunch of different messaging around that just to make sure that people know that that's normal. So if one of the um, candidates in, in any of the races claims victory before there's um, a consensus result, then we're going to add some informational context to that post directly saying that um, that there, there's no consensus result yet. I, I think that this is important because there is, unfortunately, I, I think, a heightened risk of, um, of civil unrest in, in the period you know, between, uh, between voting and, and a result being called or, or, or after that. And I, I just think that we need to be doing everything that we can to uh, reduce the chances of violence or civil unrest in the, in the wake of this election. If that were to happen, would Facebook be blamed in part? Um, well, I, I can't speak to, to what other people would do, but I, I think we're, we're trying to make sure that we do our part to make sure that um, that none of this is, is organized on Facebook. We want to make sure that none of that stuff is, is happening on, on our services. Um, but, you know, the, the country is, is very charged right now. So I, I think regardless of what we do, there's some chance that this happens um, across the country. I, I just want to make sure that we do our part to not contribute to it.